Sandboy fans, back again, another episode of Hanging Out with Logan. My guest, Daniel McQuaid. Daniel, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, man. So, you look like you have a little bit of a tan. Can you tell us where you've been the last few weeks? I was in uh, the land of Jesus, uh, Israel. Excellent. What were you doing there? Uh, World Championships. World Championships. Excellent. You were playing for Team Scotland midfield. Can you tell us a little bit about the experience of playing at the world stage and you know what you can bring back to the bellies after being over there playing? Yeah. Uh, so I played Team, for Scot or team Scotland. Uh, my dad was born there, got dual citizenship. Uh, played against Teams Canada, Iroquois, the U.S., essentially the best players in the world, despite you. It sucks you didn't get a look for the team. I would have loved to hack you up a bit. Uh, but I don't know, it was, it was a grind. We played for 10 days. Uh, you know, we got to touch up Kevin Crowley last, you know, he was on the squad last year, but um, I don't know. I feel like I'm in the best shape since I've been in the summer and ready to keep going. Being a hometown New Westminster boy, what does it mean to be a part of this New Westminster Senior, senior Sand Bellies? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I got drafted in 2012, I believe, to Coquitlam, um, and I've been on a couple teams since bit of a suitcase um, but yes he is <laughs> but uh, a couple years ago this is my second season um, and when I got the opportunity to be a belly I couldn't be more pleased I think being a part of the sand bellies and not being from New Westminster I think it's still a big honor and being able to come to all these man cup games not having a senior a team in Ladner and being able to play for the, the sand bellies has been a great honor for myself so I can only imagine what it means to be a new west boy now to get to know you a little bit do you have any hidden talents you'd like to share with the team? Uh, I'm the team bagpiper. Oh. Yeah, so it's certified by management. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us how we hold the bagpipe or how would you perform with a bagpipe? Pretend this is the bagpipe. That's a wild question. So uh, kind of just give this a little toot. Um, squeeze this like a dead cat. And then it just basically makes the best tune you've ever heard. All right, so if you don't know how to play a bagpipe. <laughs> okay, so carrying on from learning how to play the bagpipe, uh, speaking of music, right now, what's your go-to song on your iPod, or if you have an iPhone? I do have an iPhone. That's great. I don't think anyone really uses iPods anymore. No, I wouldn't say so. My go-to tune would be, I don't know if I really have one. I just like a good, good mix of rap, a little country. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, I like the Traj. Okay. They're kind of okay. a go-to, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Great Canadian band. Yeah. If you had any advice to give a young lacrosse player growing up to pursue their dream of playing at the highest level, you're currently playing Senior A and also for the, the World Scotland team, what would that advice be? I would just say practice as much as you can. Find good mentors, talk to them, learn what they're doing. I think, um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity to go to school, especially in lacrosse. There's so many teams out there doesn't have to be D1. I'm a D3 vet myself. Oh. You know, nailed it. Um, I think just, you know, looking for resources and just practicing as much as you can um, and playing as much as you can is the biggest thing. Excellent. So lots of practice, playing as much as you can. And would you say having fun is a very important part of the game? I would say so. I've had some brutal coaches in my life. And then Was Steve Goodwin one of those coaches? I wouldn't say so, no. Oh, he's a good guy. Does he watch these? He does. It's confirmed he is a fan of the show. I saw him this weekend in Kelowna. Confirmed fan. Best coach I've had. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So there you have it, folks. Your hometown hero, Daniel McQuaid, avid bagpiper, Team Scotland member, big fan of Steve Goodwin. We're going to sign off here in this episode of Hanging Out with Logan. Appreciate you coming on the show. Thanks, buddy.